Today, guys, we are going to be talking about the new Battle Pass in Grand RP. I was just told some information and have some screenshots of it to share with you guys. I am making this video today on Thursday, and the Battle Pass is coming out on Monday. So you have a few more days left to finish the current Battle Pass and tie up any loose ends you got with it. But anyways, I hope you go on to enjoy the video. And just before we get into it, if you haven't already joined the server before and want to, be sure to click the link down below in the description, click on Start Playing, select which server you want to play on, register an account, and download the launcher. And you should be good to go from there. But with that said, I hope you enjoy and let's take a look at the new battle pass. The first screenshot we're taking a look at is when you go into the shop now, you will see a picture of your character in game. And when you try on outfits and everything, you will see it right there instead of having to back out of the battle pass and look at it and then go back into the battle pass and do all that kind of annoying stuff. They made it a little bit simpler. So now anything you try on, you could see it right then and there just makes things a little bit easier. This image right here is pretty cool. We technically have three versions of the Battle Pass, but they are all the same thing, if that makes sense. We're all going to be starting on the first inclusion, and once we complete that, we'll then have access to Turn the Wrong Way, which is the next level of the Battle Pass. And then we have the Crucial Moments part of the Battle Pass now for Premium Plus members only, and it does say you just have to complete the first version of the Battle Pass to unlock it. I'm not 100% sure if you have to complete Turn the Wrong Way as well, or maybe they both get unlocked at the same time if you do have Premium Plus. Either way, I think that's pretty dope, and I'm assuming as you progress through, you'll get better and better rewards no matter what, which is awesome. Some of you are probably wondering, well, how much is the Battle Pass going to cost now? Well, lucky for all of us, they have reduced the price. The Premium Battle Pass is now only 50 grand coins, and the Premium Plus version is 150. That is 200 grand coins cheaper than it was before. And then you get access, of course, to the full Battle Pass, and if you have the Premium version, you get access to the first version and turn the wrong way. So you get an extra 250 rewards getting the Premium Plus version of the Battle Pass. I'm just glad it's a whole lot cheaper now. Some of you may remember before when you wanted to increase your level in the battle pass with grand coins, you would only get 100 points, which was kind of annoying. And as you progress to really high levels, you'd end up spending tons and tons of grand coins just to go up one level. But now they brought back the old ways. It costs five grand coins to go up one level. So if you got grand coins, you could literally just complete the whole battle pass instantly, but it's going to cost you over a thousand grand coins to do that. So I would not recommend it. But if you ever do want to just Go up one level here or there, it's only five grand coins, which is pretty great. Here's a look at the first page of the Battle Pass when you have the premium version. That's what the background looks like, that's what all the prizes look like on the bottom. The one thing that's kind of confusing me is the numbers underneath the prizes. Three, five, three, five, three, five. I'm not 100% sure what that means to be completely honest with you guys, but overall, the new Battle Pass looks kind of cool. You can see your daily tasks on the right, along with your weekly tasks, how much XP you get every hour. You can raise the level right there, purchase the pass, go to the shop, or gift it to a friend. Honestly, it's looking pretty damn dope. And as you can see in the top right hand corner, you can see where that little circle is and it says zero. That's what you need to get these rewards. So I'm not sure what that's about yet, but we're going to find out on Monday. And hopefully it's pretty cool and not super hard to get. I have no idea, but hopefully it's going to be a lot of fun. And this is what the Premium Plus version of the Battle Pass will look like. The background looks a little bit different. Once again, I'm not 100% sure what the circles mean. You can see they have some in the top right hand corner. They're also level 332. So there's going to be a lot of prizes that you're able to get. I'm not sure if that is the max level or you're just continuing to progress. Maybe it ends at level 200 or 300. I know some people are level like 250 in the current battle pass, even though there's only 203 levels. Either way, that's what it looks like if you get premium plus. The rewards are looking pretty decent. And as you know, as you progress through it, they just keep getting better and better. But that is pretty much everything. Those are the screenshots I was told about. Like I said, this comes out on Monday. So you have a few more days to finish up the current battle pass before this brand new one comes out. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to be pretty happy about it just because there's been a lot of changes done to it. And honestly, it's pretty damn great. I have to admit. Anyways, that is pretty much going to wrap things up. I hope you enjoyed. There is also a small possibility of me showing you guys some other stuff in this mini update as well. So stay tuned for that video. It would obviously come out before Monday. But anyways, with that said, I will catch you guys in the next one.